Today we're going to be putting on our new RockShock Bluto 100mm travel fork. Should be fun. That is if it works. Alright guys, we're going to be putting on our new RockShock Bluto fork. We got it in 100mm so as to not throw off the geometry of this bike. But it should be a fun day. So of course, step one. All right, then we're just gonna let this guy dangle down here. All right, slide this guy off. All righty, so I have bought the uh, this is a wheel set a while ago from uh, Sunringle, and unfortunately, uh, Rocky Mountain uh, puts their bikes out with the front fork only being uh, 135 millimeter across instead of the standard 150. So we've had to wait for some time. But now we're, the shock we're putting on, the Bluto, is 150. So I'll be able to put this wheel on, and then we'll also be doing a back wheel another time. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as I suspected, gave it a go. But we cannot get this, uh, this is not coming off. I uh, can't even get anything underneath it. So we're not going to aggravate ourselves anymore. We're just going to head over to the LBC and uh, let them use their magic tools. And we're back. We're back in the buckyard. So as it turns out, we were right to go to the bike shop to have that special nut removed. Uh, the guy told me at the bike shop that it's a $400 uh, park tool and uh, you only use it like once or twice in your entire life, so you might as well just go to the bike shop and have them do it. It takes them like two seconds to pop it off. Oh my goodness. So anyways, so last stage here is we're just gotta mark this guy off and we gotta trim down. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be good to go. Uh, this guy is from Park Tools, about 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. If for some reason you're gonna do it yourself, I recommend just going to the bike shop and having them do the whole process for you. Much easier. But uh, so this little guy uh, is called a star nut, and it's going to be inserted down into the stem here, and it's going to allow the uh, top uh, stem cap to uh, crank down and make everything nice and tight. So yeah, we just screw it on here. So then you just take it like so, place it on top of your stem, and. All right, all we gotta do now is just line up the handlebars and we're gonna be good to go. Tighten them down. Everything's nice and tight. All right guys, that's gonna do it. We've got the fork on, no problems. Well, I'm just kidding, <laughs> lots of problems. But that's why I went to the bike shop to have it fix everything for us. Everything's looking good, functioning properly. We're ready for our vacation. So look forward to a bunch of videos from our trip coming up soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, go fat biking.